Which one? Hi, I'm a senior at Sugar Falls, and I was going to show you a couple ways that I find Equatio, the extension, handy in my courses. So the first way is that in Equatio, if you go to Options and then Math Options, you can turn on Chemistry, which is really useful because it has a lot of like the chemical formulas and equations stored in there. I don't think it's on by default, so if you want it, you just have to make sure to go to the settings for that. So say I was going to make like a study guide for chemistry and I was like, gas equations, because there are a handful of those. And then if I just go to the math section in here, I can type like ideal gas law and then I can just click it and it automatically pops it in. And then if I also wanted additional, I could do like gay Lussac's law. And then whenever I'm finished listing all of those, I can just do insert math and it automatically goes into my document where my cursor was previously. So right below my heading. Um, another thing that I found really cool was the um, handwriting part. So um, currently I'm in calc and we're doing things with sigmas and sums. So if I had wanted to make a study guide that would have been really tough to figure out the spacing and how to get the infinity above and like the indices below. But with this, I can easily just draw it in and it's like really smart at picking up what I'm trying to say. And it can be like, great example of a divergent series. This is for a separate document, obviously. And then I can just insert it which, and then it'll go right below, which is really nice because it's formatted neatly and it's not like funky spacing. Um, I could see like teachers using this to make tests because they have to type this out and if they had to use some like funky um, way of like making this like a larger font than these, that would be quite a pain. And then the third one was the speech to text. So if you didn't want to <clears throat> have to like type out this long equation like say you're looking I don't know you're in like algebra and you're typing out something that's like really long you can just hit this little record button and do something like y equals 2x minus 3x squared plus 4 and then you stop and it's like perfectly in there and then say you like miss something you can always go back and edit and it has these handy operators useful because a lot of times if I was looking to type something, I'd have to go to like insert special characters and then try to remember the Greek name for it, which I can never do. Um, so it's really nice that they have all of these available to you. Additionally with these. And then the last thing I was going to point out was the graphing capability. So I remember in algebra, my teacher, like when we first introduced um, graphing equations, he would use Desmos a lot, which was it's still a great website. But with this, it's um it's like all in one place with your thing. It's similar to that. So say I was like um, just going to do a basic equation. Oops. So I can insert A as a slider, which means it's a variable, and I can adjust its value to show like how the slope affects the image of the graph. And then you can add things like a y-intercept with the same thing with the slider. Be like, how, oops, how does this change the image of the graph? Um, yeah, so those are the three things that I find really handy. Even with the graphing tool, you can use it for more advanced um, courses. Like I always forget like if cosine starts at zero or if sine does, so I can just pop it in and be like, oh no, cosine starts at one instead. And um, remember that. So yeah, the three things I found useful, the graphing, the chemistry formulas are golden because I can never remember those. In addition to like the easy formatting of equations Hope this was helpful. Thank you.